John Byers. Hey, Joe. Oh, Joe, how are you? Say hi to Kevin. What's up? Hi, hi Kevin. How are you? Not much, you? Uh, I didn't even put my computer on. Hang on. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to have it on, John. You can just talk to us like you're on the phone. Well, what's up? Uh, we just call and say hi to John Byers. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Dearman is producing the show tonight. Hey, Jeff, John's on the phone. Hi, Jeff. And he says hi, and uh, we got to get you in here to get your Larry Lucino stuff up. Yeah, well, the Red Sox uh, had their final press conference of the season this today, and um, they basically, Larry, uh, sorry, um, Theo and uh, Terry sat down, and they basically patted each other on the back, but when the media... Uh, asked them if uh, they think their jobs are in danger. They said everything will be dealt with at a later date. That's not good for them. Well, you know, I, th I think what you're going to see is Theo is going to go to Chicago, and, and just to keep the, 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 the winning attitude going, if you want to call it that, I think Tito might follow him. Interesting. Maybe a change of scenery is due. Um... I think the biggest disappointment here was Kyle Crawford. Had Crawford come alive, they would have won everything. Kyle Crawford had passed for this year only in the sense that he came from the Florida market, which if you've ever seen a uh, Tampa Bay Rays game, they don't sell out except for two, uh, two or three series a year, and that's when the Red Sox and Yankees are in town, and a majority of that crowd in that stadium is for the opposing team. They don't get a solid fan base. Right, and they keep shifting their players so much because they, they groom them and then they sell them. Well, because they can't afford it. Florida is a, mar a major market, but in, it's a, a, they call it a, a, a middle market because of there's only two teams down there, one down in South Florida and one down there in the, the, the northern area. And who's in South Florida? What? Who's the Florida in Florida Right, and they're not doing well anyway. Yeah, but they're getting a new, brand new stadium next year. I thought they would have sold them to another state. No, no. I, I think the, the, the Tampa Bay Rays and the Florida Marlins are the only teams down there in Florida. Got, the Marlins got to, are getting a new stadium next year. The problem being, they can't afford the big market players, so they have to do it on piecemeal. And so far it's worked. I mean, the funny thing about it that... You watched the game last night with me while I was talking to you on the phone. You were keeping an eye on it. And that home run that Longoria hit in the 11th inning, Yep. that wall was just uh, shrunk down two years ago to help Kyle Crawford be able to hit home runs out there. So even without Kyle Crawford being here, even without Kyle Crawford being in Florida in Tampa, he still helps his team to win. That's interesting. Hey, Kevin, are you a sports fan? Uh, kind of. In kind way, of. Yeah. He's kind of. So, you know, it, it's kind of over. I want to move on from the Red Sox. I'm kind of glad, John, that it's over because I wasn't having fun. No, I wasn't having fun, but now, now we get into the real meat of the game, the playoffs. I mean, I, I just finished watching a thing on the Major League Baseball Network called Path to the Pennant, and they made their selections for the, for, for the winners of the ALDS, the ALCS, and the Ultimate World Series. And surprisingly, you know what team wasn't selected? The Red Sox. No, the Yankees. Okay. Oh, boo. I hate the and, Yankees. And the Yankees are in the playoffs. They also they also selected the Brewers, uh, the Tigers, and the uh, and the Brewers to face off against each other in the uh, World Series. Well, I thought that the Yankees would um, dissolve around June. And they didn't. So when they didn't, you knew that they had the financing to get the right players. Had we just buried them by June or July, uh, they might not have been able to recover. But they recovered, and they always find players mid-year. You know that. Yeah, we buried them, but the problem being the losing streaks that we went on. The funny thing was... Our first losing streak, you know. The 0-6 side, and Tampa started 0-6 for the season, and look where they are. Yeah, but we were worse than 0-6. We were like, what, 1-1? and what? No, we were 0-6 we were to start the season. At the end of April, we were 2-10. and 10. That's terrible. And, but look where we ended up after that. Sure, we didn't make the playoffs. But we yeah, made... but we, how many one-run games did we lose? Well, I'll, I'll give you another instance. How many games... No, how many one-run games did we lose? Oh, 20, 30? About, I want to say about 20 or 30, maybe. That's what I just said. I was asking you. You're the, you're the expert. Possibly, yeah, but... 
Yeah, we might have lost like 37 one-run games. Right. It's some ridiculous it's, it's stat. It's not to look at, too. How many times did the team go out and score double digits in runs one game and then not even a field to, uh, 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 field to be able to score a run or two in the next game? At least 10 or 15 because they, 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 they blew all their, all their run production in one game. So, John, what movies are you watching at home now? Uh, right now, I'm not watching anything. I'm, go- I'm just flipping around, and uh, I'm going to watch uh, wrestling at 9 o'clock, and then i got a couple of shows that I've taped on my VCR that I'm going to watch after that, my, my DVR that I'm going to watch after that. Hey, Kevin, I was coming home from the gym last night, yeah. pulling, into my, pulling down to 93 <clears throat> to Medford, and I hear him on Damon and Mendelar. they got a whole intro for him. <laughs> it's John from Medford! That's amazing, John. And oh. like I told you, they actually uh, picked some of the sound bites up from my short-lived show on... On the other station. We won't even talk about them. Yeah. But uh, I don't even want to talk about them. But I do want to get into Medford politics. Hey, you know, uh, that mayor over there, we, we should have logged every one... In fact, I have on tape all of his waste management commercials. You should probably write a complaint saying that you wanted 500 spins and that the election should be null and void. Wow, I don't think that could happen. I mean... I know, but there's there's less than six weeks left. There's about 40 days left. What, uh, eight days in November, 31. So 39 and one is 40. There's 40 plus today. 40 days till election. Five and a half weeks till election, uh, 2011. Yep. It's it's just... uh, So the Malden mayor is one of five people, people in Winchester. The Malden mayor is one of five people who might be town manager of Winchester. Wow. That is not a good idea. Why? Mayor Howard from Malden, who's involved with Mayor McGlynn in Medford and the mayor from Everett with River's Edge. Why? Wow. The guy involved with River's Edge should be here in Winchester to do the same kind of nonsense? I don't think so. Well, you know, I, I, listen, out of all the cities that were involved in River's Edge, Medford was the worst. So well, I, because it's mostly in Medford, right? Right. Right. So Malden, Malden is like on the... on the. Uh, I still would like Medford. something different. Uh, you know, I don't think Mayor Howard should be here in Winchester, and that's just my... He's had his yeah. chance with Malden. Don't shuffle them like playing cards. Well, I mean... That's There's too much something. cronyism out there. There's too, too much cronyism. You know it better than anyone, I John. I know. I know the cronyism. I mean... Look, you, you spoke at the council meeting the other night, and they all but shut you down. Well, they, they let me have my say, and then they shut me down. They censored me at Medford City Hall, which I think is hilarious, because I got my say, and then that TV station there, my stalkers didn't get to say anything. Why which, so, if they don't like me, why do they follow me around like puppy? Do you know, John, so they've been following me. That's what I said to you last night. I said, in, in one sense, they, they let you speak. <clears throat> But then they shut everything down not to allow them to speak. Which worked out for me great. Yeah. But the point is this. Since October 2006, when I go up to City Hall, they follow me. Right. They just follow me around. It's absurd. If you don't like a guy, don't follow him around. They follow me to Winchester. They just do, follow me. All you got to do is look at the promo for one of their 